What's going on, you guys? I got Corey here. I got myself over here. Here I am. And you are in for a special treat because this is not only another unboxing video, but don't worry about the mess. I'm gonna. It's not a mess. My room's not really a mess. It's just a laptop. This is also another one of my surprise videos. Corey knows about it, but you folks don't. And you're all gonna be in a Good shock when you see what it is. Bought this for a hundred dollars. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Super Scope EC12P, aka the Game Show microphone. Whoa! We have the warranty. And this is tiny. <laughs> This is pretty tiny in person. What do you think? It's nice. Smaller than I thought it was. That's yeah. okay. Now before we go, Corey and I have a special announcement of what's coming up next year. Me and Corey are meeting up again for the SAC anime of 2015 at Sacramento. Yep. And yes, Charles Martinet is returning. But it's going to be way different this time. Alex will be staying with me for two days, so it's going to be a full three-day on-the-road special. Mm -hmm. And let's switch this around from an unboxing video to a vlogging video. Welcome to The Price is Right. How do you guys like it? Do I look good? Leave a compliment below. All right, that was from yesterday. Today is Sunday, and Corey is still with me. As you can see, I actually got my microphone. It actually can work on the Sony camera. And Corey's going to tell you one of the silliest days I had yesterday. Uh, Alex had trouble trying to get the microphone work to work and stuff, you know, and he, until he found out when he plugged in his camera, it worked. Yeah, what it actually is, it also works for cameras, too. It is a condenser microphone, too. I was trying to work it. I was trying to make sure if it can work. On the wireless system I have, but it doesn't. And I was trying to look for an XLR cable too, but I just felt so silly. And by the way, how do you like it? Do I look good? The the audio does work. I'm going to be using this for my videos now. And now it's time for the vlogging part. Corey's got a few stories to tell you that are pretty interesting. We're going to start the one from when he was in the hospital, but that's not the real story kicker to the story. Listen. I uh, applied years back when Trigger Pursuit America Plays was uh, casting and, you know, didn't think anything of it, you know. Got home one day during the winter time, and I got told I won 550 bucks from the letter they sent me. It was very interesting. He had a gallbladder surgery. That's why he was in the hospital. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch both of the repeats of the episode. A few days ago which was last week, this blew Corey's mind off, and mine too. I uh, referred a friend to Comcast, you know, and they have their refer a friend program saying you'll get up to $500 in gift cards for each person you refer successfully, and they sign up for Comcast services. Well, I referred one friend, you know, and I didn't think anything of it, you know, minding my business. Probably about last week, I, uh, on a Monday, I go out and got the mail, and I had a couple pieces of mail from Comcast, one just being a stupid ad, the other was an envelope with a letter inside and attached to that cover letter was a $100 prepaid Visa gift card. That is very good, Corey. I'm not much of a Comcast guy, I'm more of a DirecTV guy. But if you have Comcast, that is okay if you got Dish Network. Speaking of Dish Network, last week they dropped CBS from their lineup and here's why. Because they were because the company and CBS were butting heads, you know, not coming to an agreement and stuff. And CBS cut the signal from CW and their CBS lineups, including Los Angeles and a whole bunch of other states. And then the next morning, it was right back again after a lot of customers were pissed off chewing them out and stuff. CBS finally caved in and agreed to a contract. Anyways, also another story... Aubrey actually gave one of his costumes to Corey. No, he bought him. Oh, he bought him one. 
you bought me one. I got it in the mail. And funny thing about mentioning that is Alex is going to be joining me for Sack Animate this year. That's right. As if you heard earlier, in case if you missed it, this year, well, this next month, actually, I'll be meeting up Corey again for the 2015 Sack Anime Winter Convention. And, of course, Charles Martinet is going to be there again, as I said earlier. Also, the... Day special on the road, though. Yeah, one episode with Corey and another episode with two days of the convention. And who else is going to be there? The voice of Optimus Prime of Transformers, the narrator and voice of Gohan, Kyle Herbert, and a few others. Corn and a whole bunch of other people, including uh, the guy that does the voice of Bender as well. There's plenty of others to talk about. We had a lot of rain last week, and that was actually good. And there was a tale that Corey told me about. Oh yeah, this was last year when I met Alex for the first time and he came down for just for a day with the convention. I had gotten there super early because I knew it was gonna be gonna be people, you know, trying to arrive early and a whole bunch of other crap and stuff, you know. I got there, parked my bike and stuff up someplace, locked it up. Went about my business, went to the hotel, you know, saw people were starting to arrive and stuff and I started getting hungry. So I went back upstairs uh, went out of the building, crossed the street, went over to the 7-Eleven to get food and coffee, did that, got back to the hotel to sit down and eat, and as I'm sitting at the bar, eating my food and stuff, minding my business, the next thing is, the person that sat next to me in the stool next to me was Charles himself. Yes, a very nice guy and talented as well. Yeah, he really loves his fans. I mean, I didn't expect it, that was not planned or anything, you know? You know, I was just minding my business, eating my food, and I didn't expect it, you know. He was, he came downstairs and was drinking his coffee and stuff, you know, waiting around for something. Found out he was waiting because uh, Fox 40 was was there doing a doing a uh, meet and greet sh- uh, shoot for the news. And then at the same day of the convention, something, I wouldn't say embarrassing or, I don't know, but... We had gotten inside the building to get autographs and stuff. I had just gotten mine from Charles and stuff, and Alex got his from Charles as well. And I had to split ways with him because I had to get back home soon because um, I needed the rest the rest of the night, you know, and, you know, because I would have to get back up again the next morning and stuff. Um, I had gotten home probably about an hour and a half later after I'd split from Alex because I just got caught the train as it was, uh, as it just pulled into the station where I needed to get on. Um... And I made it back home. I called him, and he tells me he's having trouble trying to find the damn hotel. Where's the Hyatt Hotel? Excuse me, sir, where's the Hyatt? They gave me directions, but it still leads me to other buildings. Yep. Unfortunately, I should have told Alex. He should have came out the door where we came in from the autograph line, went down the back stairs there, and just walked right up the street and made a, made a left turn. Yeah. It would have taken him right to the hotel, but I felt stupid and I didn't tell him that. Yeah. By the way, this is the windscreen. And right over here, you can still hear me over here, but barely. That is the mute microphone. So when I push, you can't hear me from this one because I have the microphone muted. This is the, uh, in case if you forgot the microphone, this is the Super Scope EC12B. This is the one of the game show microphones. But get this. Bob Barker used the ECM-51 and the ECM-5110. The 5110, does that make sense? I don't know. Do you? No! <laughs> 510, the 5110. That'd be the 5110. This is still considered a game show microphone, though. Just how the way it looks. I'm actually glad that I bought this. This is actually one of the greatest things that I bought. And get this. I have the warranty from what date, Corey? 1980. That's right. 1980. Anything else you want to talk about, Corey? Not that I can think of except uh, what's coming up here on the channel and stuff. Well, I can tell you that next week is the season two premiere of The Doofus Guys. So I hope you all look forward to that. And of course... This is Bob Barker reminding you to help control the YouTube population. Have your trolls blocked and reported. Goodbye, everybody.